and that's most likely because there is someone spinbotting on the other team, still able to take down Dalmatian with 1 HP and clutch it. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time Has Been A Window. Today we're going to be doing some Overwatch, and it looks like we're going to be starting off with a rage hacking case. As you can see here, the suspect is staring at the ground and taking shots over here towards double doors on D-Dust 2. Now you can see that the map is Dust 2, and that pretty much everyone in here is staring backwards, except for one guy over there on the terrorist team. But yeah, all the CTs seem to be cheating, and all of the terrorists seem to be staring backwards, so they're all using Rage Hacks as well. And it's Vortex, the one that I thought was not cheating, but it looks like he was able to get two kills there through the walls. So I guess Vortex is also cheating. So yes, it looks like it's a full-on 5v5 Hacker vs. Hacker game. Suspect here now in a 1v1 against Zigzag. Of course, he does have another teammate alive, but he's just AFK over there in T-Spawn with a CZ. Suspect trying to reposition here. He's going to have to find a way to go about attacking this final counter terrorist, and maybe he's going to be able to take him down from Catwalk over here through the ground. Well, sadly, shooting him through the ground did not work. Going to be making his way over here towards Long get that bomb. Checking over here towards Spawn, able to take down Zigzag and finish off the round just as his teammate comes back. All right, guys, plenty of evidence here. Let's go and report it. Once again, we're going to find ourselves on DDoS 2. The suspect with 7 kills, 111 damage around, seems to be doing a great job, 71% headshot percentage. And the most important thing is he doesn't seem to be spinning around or running around backwards. Going to be holding the angle over here at long. His teammate just fell off of long, so of course he spotted him out. So he knows that there's at least one guy over here at long. Is going to spot out Octopus as he jumps over there towards pit and gets a kill. Then takes a spam shot through the smoke. Most likely because he heard the decoy grenade and thought that was a person because he looked like he shot right towards the decoy grenade. Now going to be pushing up over here at long and checking the angle. Doesn't really spot anyone out. Going to throw an incendiary grenade over here towards blue container. Peeking out. Wow, what a perfect peek onto donkey. And that was a little bit suspicious. But up until this point, I'm going to have to say it is looking like he might possibly be legitimate. Though he looked a little bit aware there. Either way, last guy over at B went down. Knows that someone's going to have to cross over here into the B side. Going to be holding this angle and waiting to see if anyone crosses. He does spot out Duck. Hits a nice shot and takes down Duck as he tries to jump across over there into the B site. All right, getting up here on the car. It looks like he knows a nice little lineup from the car. Jumps and throws it. That's going to land inside the door. All right, he can see that there is no one playing the B site. And because of that, he's going to rotate over here towards B. Doesn't really spot it out, but his teammate over there was in lower B tons at one point. Had fallen back towards mid. Probably spotted out a guy pushing towards lower. His teammate on cat there seems to have the guy in lower pinned. And it looks like the suspect here is going to be pushing up over here towards middle. His teammate keeping some pressure on this guy in lower B tons with that Molotov. And the suspect's going to come around the corner and takes down Hatchet with a no-scope. All right, nothing too suspicious there. All of that could have been communication. This round, the suspect's going to be pushing over here through long doors. He does flash over, checks over here towards T-spawn, doesn't spy anyone out, is checking everything, doesn't see anyone. One guy over here on Catwalk. Look at that. He actually, like, I don't know. It seemed like he scoped that in a little bit quick. I guess he scoped in just as he heard the AK on Catwalk, but it really looked like he knew that guy was there before he even heard the shot. Either way, making his way over here towards the B side. One guy on back plat. He didn't even spot out that guy's head. It looked like he knew that guy was there, taking another shot at him. And his teammate's going to take down that terrorist from tunnels. Now looks like he's going to try to stick the bomb while his teammates defend him. Really has a lot of trust in his teammates here. Last terrorist peeking out. Misses the no-scope and gets taken down. Definitely not the best defense from his teammates. But you know what? It was good enough to win the round and that's all that really matters. The suspect making his way over here towards Long peeks out. Nice flick shot onto Octopus. Nice kill there. Gonna throw a flashbang into the long doors and hold the angle for now. All right, only two terrorists left. And he does seem to be checking every corner. Right now, I can't really judge anything. There have been some suspicious moments where it seemed like he was peeking people at an exact angle. And I'm not sure I have enough evidence. I'm really looking for him to really slip up big ones. All right, the suspect pushing his way over here from long. Of course, he knew where the last guy was because his teammate had just been taken down by him. Peeks out wide and able to flick over and take down Donkey. Right now it's looking really good for the counter terrorists. And the suspect, for the most part, looks legitimate. But there have been a couple shady moments. Alright, the only guy playing B has gone down. And because of that, the suspect's going to need to rotate over here 
and take over holding that B site. Oh, he gets absolutely annihilated there in middle. Oh, and there was definitely something suspicious about that. It looked like he didn't even cross the doors there, so it looks like there is someone on the other team that may have toggled on. I think it was Dalmatian there with seven kills. Not entirely sure which one it was, but either way, Suspect going to be making his way over here towards the B site. Watching for that cross, able to take down Donkey as he crosses. Good reaction right there. One guy over by window. Of course, that is a pretty standard spot to pre-place your cross here. After you get a pick and note they have full access to the B site, because people do like to pick from that window area. Suspect making his way through halls here. And yes, it is Dalmatian right there. He does, or I, we can see him through the wall. Suspect's going to peek out perfectly over there towards the guy on bomb. Peeks out perfectly on the duck. And yeah, it's getting shadier and shadier by the moment. Suspect down to 1 HP. He seems to be lining up on people through walls now. And that's most likely because there is someone spinbotting on the other team. Still able to take down Dalmatian with 1 HP and clutch it against the full-on Rage Hacker. All right, the suspect making his way over here towards Long. Has an AWP and knows that there's one guy spinbotting on the other team. How is he going to play this? Look at that instant reaction on the duck. He is not messing around anymore. At first, I thought this guy might be legitimate and just hitting some nutty shots or getting lucky from time to time with some of his peak. But as you can see, his reactions are absolutely instantaneous. And right now, it looks like he's just staring at Dalmatian through the wall. Oh yeah, he is definitely staring at Dalmatian through that wall. He is literally just watching him. You can see one guy making his way over there towards Catwalk. Let's see if he adjusts for this. Yeah, you can clearly see the terrorist pushing his way over here towards Catwalk. So the suspect's repositioning to get this kill and instantly flicks around the corner and takes down Dog. You can see that is definitely aim assistance right there. He has aim assistance turned on and definitely has been using a wall hack even though he's been closet cheating this entire time. The spinbotter on the other team has made him get reckless. He does not want to lose this game, and even though it is very one-sided, a spinbotter can... Alright guys, time for the Overwatch resolution. This was a pretty interesting case, specifically because he was playing it off so well. Half the time it looked like he was taking shots through smokes, but inevitably at the end, once the other guy on the other team started spinbotting, he decided to turn it up to 11. As for aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. We could clearly see he was using aim assistance on the last round. As for vision assistance, early on this was actually pretty hard to tell, though he did have a few perfect peaks on people who were on off angles, which was a little bit suspicious to me. Specifically that guy in the back of B where you can only see a little bit of his head, and of course the guy over at Long by Blue Container, who he kind of mollied off first and then peaked it absolutely perfectly. Either way, it wasn't until the guy full on spin botted that I could say that I definitely had enough evidence to say this is evident beyond reasonable doubt, and I guess I gotta thank the spin botter for that. The only problem is, I can't go back into that demo and also ban the spin botter. Though, closet cheaters are far harder to get banned in the first place. As for major disruption, other external assistance, insufficient evidence here. Didn't see him spin botting or using any B-hop script or anything like that. And as for griefing, he wasn't griefing his teammate. Now, it's a bit of a trade-off because while we did catch the closet cheater due to the guy spin botting, making it more obvious for us, we weren't able to get rid of the spin botter. The good news is spin botters tend to get banned more frequently than closet cheaters, so I think at the end of the day this is still kind of a win. Though Valve, if you are watching this, allow me to replay the demo and go and ban the spin botter too. Anyways guys, that's today's cases. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, have a great day.